this tutorial, we're going to look at the mail merge function. Start with this letter here. Now here I want to send the same letter or a similar letter to multiple different people at different addresses. So everywhere where you see these generic labels, they will be substituted with their actual names. So this is our data source. And as you can see here, these match the labels that are currently in the letter. So this would equate to three separate letters. So if I go back to the claim letter. And now if I go to the mailings tab and select recipients, use an existing list and choose my data source, which is on the desktop in an Excel sheet. So there it's picked up the table. Okay. okay. Now for every field I want to substitute, if I highlight something and do insert merge field and match up to the cells from the spreadsheet that have been brought in, column headers effectively. Okay, you can just go through and do all of those. Now you can preview the results. So this is the first letter. Now the second letter to John Klaus. See all the details here substituted. And the third letter for Tony Fellows. Again, you can see all the details have been substituted. So keep in mind when you're writing the letter that you're reusing most of the content, so it still needs to make sense. Now let's look at what happens when you email. Choosing the address, subject line. This will apply to all of the letters that get sent. Now you can choose whether to send all current or particular range. So one to two to send the first two or two to three to send the last two. And if you wanted to send these, you would now hit OK. I don't want to, I'll click Cancel. Now you can also create PDF files. Give her a name here. And then you just go to OK. And that will generate the files. When you're happy with that, click OK. And you can also merge to PDF, but to send as an attachment. Choose the email address again. Put a subject heading and a generic message in here. And when you're ready, you would click OK and it would send the emails with the PDFs as the attachments. Once again, I'm not going to do this. I'll just click Cancel. Now let's have a look at the files on the desktop from the first demonstration. Three different letters. Check the first one to Jill Lewis. Second one to John Klaus. And the third one to Tony Fellows here. And that is the mail merge function.